Hi, this is Kelly Kaiser Witt for Earth Sky. On February 25th, we're just 43 days out from the last total solar eclipse to cross North America until 2045. And here's some heartening news about cumulus clouds on eclipse day. Scientists haven't been sure what effects, if any, solar eclipses have on clouds. That's because satellite data from solar eclipses don't account for the decrease in sunlight resulting in large, dark patches in cloud maps. But a new study out of the Netherlands reveals a new way to restore satellite measurements during solar eclipses. And the new method suggests that eclipses can cause cumulus clouds, those big puffy clouds, to go poof and disappear. The researchers looked at three eclipses in Africa and accurately calculated the percentage of the sun obscured for each location and time on Earth. The researchers found that cumulus clouds started to disappear on a large scale when just 15% of the sun's disk was blocked by the moon, and once the solar eclipse was over, the cumulus clouds returned. The clouds left because as the sun began to disappear, the land below quickly cooled. That slowed the rising air responsible for cloud formation. So if you see cumulus clouds on the morning of the April 8, 2024 eclipse, take heart. As the moon dims the sun, those puffy white clouds above you might just disappear. By the way, Victor Trees of Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands said these results might have implications for would-be climate engineers. He said, if we eclipse the sun in the future with technological solutions in order to cool the earth, it might affect the clouds. And he said fewer clouds could partly pose the intended effect of climate engineering. That's because clouds reflect sunlight so clouds help to cool the earth. Fewer clouds would mean more warming.